All right, guys, today we're going to be reacting to She Blinks Men for Women's Hypergamy and its his consequence. Let's jump in. I'm going to try to raise. Men do have a big load and weight on their shoulders to yeah. be providers. But unfortunately, that is a system that was set up by the men that came before them. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. the men that built this country. That's, is I'm it not though? saying it's. Is it I was though? Gonna say it's kind Wait, of because I actually think there's a mating pressure that mm -hmm. is directional from women to men. Not all has, women. Oh, but let's just say it's even 50% mm -hmm. of women. Mm -hmm. If it's 50% of women, that would preclude, assuming there's one-to-one -one partnering ratios, that right. would re preclude 50% of men mm -hmm. from being able to get into a relationship, marry, have children, reproduce. So if women's own standard, even if it's 50%, I actually think it's more than 50%, but let's just say it's 50% of women have an expectation that men pay for first dates, men be providers, men pay for dates into the relationship. Uh, men are just generally providers throughout the entire course of the uh -huh. relationship. Then how is this actually, you said, but it's because of men. Wouldn't it actually beca be because of women due to a incredibly powerful mating pressure that's placed on men by women? Mm. In this society, yes, evolutionary speaking, yes, but men set up and designed the system for women to stay home and be homemakers to need that from men. You know, me women weren't, a women, for no, thousands women, of years have no. been homemakers. Women, women like, set that up the opposite way. Women didn't build this country. No, by, by when, when women demanded the right to vote and they demanded the right to enter into the workplace, mm -hmm. they doubled the labor force. 100%. If you double okay. something, it becomes less valuable. Well, the that, commodity becomes less again, valuable. It so, goes so that's why your salary, folks, is not equal to the standard of living. See, you're supposed to be making double right now. Right to e equate the inflation, but you're supposed to have a partner or uh, not partner, a woman to have two incomes, and that's why when you that's why now is the time, folks, to make money. Now is the time. Why? If you make money, you're gonna be one of the few. They know what's going on, because right now the economy is built that. You have to rely on somebody. Don't be that guy. Make it happen. I don't know how you, you will, but make it happen. This is a very interesting conversation. So now you need two incomes. It goes so person on, by so, but, person. But hang on. But hang on. Let me finish my argument. So now you need two incomes mm -hmm. to raise a family, whereas you only needed one income before. Yep. Mm -hmm. So the thing that's interesting about this is, well, kind of out of the one side, you say, well, wait a second. It's men's fault. Because the way society is currently geared, I wouldn't say it's your fault. I think it's hang on. the Let people who built this country. The fault. argument, okay. okay? Go ahead. Because that is what you're saying, and I can explain how. You're saying, wait a second. Um, <clears throat> men put us in this conditional, right? Men did this because men were the ones traditionally who were in power. It's like, yeah. And under men, we only needed one income to support a family. Now we need two because women doubled the workforce mm -hmm. and demanded to be in the workforce. So it's like, isn't that kind of what the doctor ordered then? Mm, women wanting the right to earn their own money mm -hmm. without a man, because it doesn't necessarily have to, oh, we want the right to work. Just cause Some women want to live without men. Um, that's fine. But Mind the it hell trying to say. ignores the fact of inflation and how over the years, people are making yeah, significant. They inflated the workforce. They inflated it massively. So what they did was uh, now you have at war. now you have work. now you have no. Matt, now you have a ton of boy uh, that was disrespectful. Uh, women who you see how she does that? Look at how the pink managed to be passive aggressive. Listen to this. Uh, now you have no. Matt. Now you have a ton of of, of you see? Uh, entry. That was very disrespectful. But she did it deliberately because she's trying to test. Uh, she's trying to test Andrew. Level women who could be paid less, and yes, there was a war, and a bunch of rich industrialists yeah. took advantage of this mm -hmm. in order to push through an amendment that, when it was put to women to vote on their right to vote, they voted against it. Mm. Isn't that interesting? No, they it voted is, yeah. against it because they did not want to be interchangeable widgets with men. 
it was far preferable for them to live in a society where they did not have to work. But that goes that. That, back that, that is bullshit. Choice. <laughs> like, oh, what's bullshit? I will say this is where they are right, where the patriarchy of the past uh -huh. and the systems in place mm -hmm. set it up so women were looking at kind mm -hmm. of in a, mm -hmm. a history book. Mm -hmm. Women were second class, okay. not in politics, not in the workforce, able to earn their own money. Mm -hmm. oh Whatever, my God. They open a bank account. Exactly. Dress Didn't, a certain way. Vote. I, I, hang on. That's true. But You're they, also incurred, it. they also incurred absolutely no debt. They also had tons of societal privileges that they men didn't have. We got hang on, hang on. They were you got to wow. finish an argument. I, I see Can I finish the? Going. You don't even. Okay, then why don't you tell me my argument? The whole point, though, no, no, no. Let her talk. Let her talk. Let her talk. Let her talk. Them, let her talk. So. Okay. Tell me my argument, since you know it already. <laughs> exactly. You're trying to exactly. say that like women appreciate not having to work and stuff, and there are no, nope, women that, that wasn't no. My I can literally tell that's not his argument. Argument. So uh, next time. So next time. So since that's not my argument, next time I'm in the middle of making my really argument, done. please okay. let me finish making it like I've done for you the whole night. Mm -hmm. That would be swell. Okay. Remember, there's one of me. There's tons of you. So anyway, back to the conversation it's we were having. You, oh, that's a test right there. See what she's doing? She's testing me again. The reason she's testing him, right? Because he want, she wanted to know whether or not Andrew's the guy. Andrew's the guy. Let's see what happens. For, oh, I'm, I'm, I, it's okay to cut me off, do whatever you want to me. If I you say something off, back. You cut, us off, you cut us off too, there, okay, how many buddy? Of you, how many of you are there? It does, you still cut us off, but uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. When you're having a conversation oh, with nine hey, people, if you want to get so in the conversation, tight. sometimes you're gonna have to be a bit aggressive. So nice. anyway, okay. Exactly. As we're having this exchange, this is when Brian needs to jump in and just put Bandra. He's not doing it. I don't think he's. I don't think he's picking up the vibe. Let's try this again. Here's my argument back to you. My argument back to you is, wait a second. You're only pointing out the cons to that, not the pros. So you're not pointing out the fact that women are still the most in debt in this nation. They incur the most, well, men slightly, but they really shouldn't be, okay? The incurrence of debt from women was not even a thing. They could hold property. They absolutely could hold property. That's a complete myth, you made it up. They totally could hold property. Yes, they could, and tomorrow you'll learn this because I'm gonna teach it to you. But yes, they absolutely could. 100% could hold property. I feel, I, I, I'm gonna be honest, I feel like you guys like, Shame. do you really believe this stuff outside of the show? Like yes. half of the stuff? Does, wow. is your, does your wife work? Uh, my wife has a book called Occult Feminism. She's the best anti-feminist debater on the earth, on the planet. What's it called again? I'm just interested in what's reading called her. Occult Feminism. Occult feminism. Sounds what's like her? She's I'm, no, I'm genuinely curious. What is her? Yeah, what's right. the crux of her? Yeah, yeah. Wow, wow. Now that she learned that she's an anti-feminist and a very good debater, now you see how the energy goes down. Ah, interesting opinion position uh -huh. well i was just telling you the crux of her opinions and position well you weren't speaking for her you were speaking for you so i was just you know asking you to do think they believe wow. the same thing because yeah very... what are you talking about <laughs> yeah she yeah. believes in the patriarchy i wouldn't be married to someone i didn't morally agree yeah. with unlike whatever you have going on with your husband mine's Grade not allowed to go flirt with other men right he's not allowed to do that enough he's woman so tight and jealous women could own property and have checking accounts in 1907, okay. Etty Green like bailed silly. out Wall Street. Crack open a history book yep. sometime. Uh. Stop buying into feminist lies. He's a brave and a decent man. He's a pioneer. But do you <laughs> see you, how, like, thank you, good do you see Appreciate how, it. like, I mean, I suppose not because of your wife. And again, you both have your, you know, similar views, but just me and how... Andrew, by the way, me and Andrew don't agree on everything. Yeah. I haven't really talked too much. I've... Right. Go ahead. No, that's good. Um... There we go. I lost my there we go. That was nice. The, you see, when she, when she, when Andrew told her that his wife is actually an anti-feminist and knows a lot about feminism, and she's a good debater, you see how all of a sudden she goes, uh, 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 uh. you know what? Like I said before, females are afraid of other females. Females are afraid of all the females because they know what they're capable of. So that's very interesting that all of a sudden she just went a little bit submissive there. Can I just say this whole thing is about... Hero. 
Or, sorry, hero I, syndrome. God, damn, I'm bro. sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. I forgot the. I forgot the word. Yeah, that, we're supposed to say yeah, that's a hero. That's a hero syndrome. Unalive. Sorry. How are we bringing it back there? No, no, no. I, no, I, I didn't bring it back there. Isn't so that I was what we're talking no, 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 about? I was bringing I it to. We were asking the heroes there. No, no. I was bringing we, it to actually a lighter place. I didn't know. No, no. I was bringing it to a lighter place that, on on the whole, it's just. Unattract like why wouldn't you, you want egg. women to be it gives you the See, egg. Did he not cut me off? Oh <laughs> just go what just you go know? finish your point. What it's cut me off. It's unattractive when a dude Ryan, is you have to kick your out, man. You can't do that. To be in these roles put in their place, like it's just not cool or hot. Like, why does anybody you give a flying a fuck what you think is attractive or not? Why does anybody give a fine fuck thing about is, what you think this is attractive? Whole thing is on the basis of mating. It's a dating show. What are we even saying? It's about men and women and gender dynamics. And for that a man to like put women down like we're doing Harrison Bunker here, like what is this? Let it's me say, like, let me let me let me get this right. But you do. Okay, well, do, I think it's unattractive do, do. women's liberation shit's totally unattractive. There you go. <laughs> Too shit. Yeah. Touche. Yeah, the counter to oh, will give me the ick is oh, well also gives me the ick to the opposition. It just like makes you not you just generalize because mm -hmm. I see them in the comments too. Mm -hmm. It just makes you like mm -hmm. a loser and small. It's oh. like, what are you so Ooh. threatened by women? That, it's like, like again, you... it, it brings us back to the beginning. It's like you're in your power. Yeah, but I feel like it makes you, you small minded have... and dumb to not That's give an argument. You. We can agree on something. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure though how it doesn't make I'd you small minded and dumb to not give me an argument. Yeah, cheese. <sighs> this, again, this is the first time. Somebody confronted her reality and point of view, and, she, and her world right now is just crumbling. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. Interesting. Let me know what you guys see in the comment section below. I'll see you next time.